Hey there, this is Daryl Martin with Apex Trader Funding, the ultimate choice for your trader funding. And got to show risk disclosures, there's risk involved in investing, know what you're doing before you do it, understand data issues can happen, platforms can have issues, electric, internet, all that, we're not responsible for that. At the same time, I want to set you up for success. And I've been working with Rhythmic and I've actually found out some things that I want to disclose to you today that is going to make it a lot more efficient for your computer to run and to also to if there is an issue for us to be able to help you out okay so what i want you to do is i want you to open your rhythmic trader pro and we're going to do something different than what you've been doing okay i'm going to show you a couple things here that we're going to do different so you're going to put in your username like always You're going to put in your password as well. Notice I am putting it in the data section. Okay, so I am, I did turn on market data. And then I want you to choose on your gateway, whatever's closest to you. So if you're in Singapore, Hong Kong, Sydney, you know, if you're in the US, if you're in Europe, if you're in Germany, choose Frankfurt, okay? And do that on both of them, okay? I also want you to choose allow plugins and click that on. So this is different. So this is actually gonna save you from having to have a second login connection subscription, okay? So now, very important, there is an aggregated quotes option. If you're using order flow, Apex order prints, um, footprints, if you're using you know jigsaw, book map, things like that, do not use aggregated orders. But if you're using normal bars, like 10 minute bars, and you're using normal you know indicators that are based on time-based bars, stuff like that, then I want you to check aggregated orders and turn them on, okay? So I use Apex order prints, so I'm not going to turn it on. But I do have allow plugin mode on. And I'm going to click log in. <coughs> now, that's connecting. Give it a second here. Now, what I want you to do is we're going to have two R Trader Pros open. I'm going to show you how to do this. All right. We're going to make a client one, which is our plug-in one. And we want it to be clean. We don't want any windows open. So let's say you have just a whole bunch of things open and all this stuff. We want to close all those down. And if you can't find the little X, just hit window and click maximize children. And then you'll see a little X in the top right corner. I want nothing. You want nothing on this. You want this to be clean for your market data to flow in. A big benefit of using this plugin mode is it's going to log multiple things. And if there is an issue, Rhythmic is going to be able to diagnose the issue a whole lot easier. But also, this is faster. And it's communicating directly on the client with Ninja. So it can solve a lot of issues. I've tested it. The data is faster going through the plugin mode. Okay? Uh, Chris helped me out a ton on this. So... First, you have to set up and connect to that plugin mode. Now, I'm going to show you how to actually open another Rhythmic so you can watch your Apex dashboard. So we're going to open it up. And i got to plug in my username and password again. But we're going to change a couple things. That did not copy. go why is it not sorry having a problem with the very basic function of copy and paste here we go let's try it third time's a charm I'm gonna delete it out paste it in there we go let me put in my password. Now, 
then choose rhythmic paper trading again on both of them and choose the gateway that's closest to you. Do not turn on the plugin mode. Okay, you can choose to turn on aggregated data if you want to for this, but do not turn on the plugin mode. Now, click login. And what's going to happen is it's going to kick you out of the other one. <laughs> okay, so how do we do it where it doesn't kick us out? Well, all you got to do is change one setting. And here's how it's not going to kick you out. You're going to go down and you're going to say R Trader Pro on this machine. Okay. Now, if you did get kicked out, close all your rhythmic windows and just reconnect. So you're doing it right. So I'm going to start over from the beginning because I want you to really get this down. Okay. So I got all my rhythmics closed. I have to open rhythmic before I open, before I connect to Ninja. I'm going to choose allow plugins and enter my username and password. I'm going to choose rhythmic paper trading. I'm going to choose what's closest. I'm going to choose allow plugins. I'm going to click log in. Again, this is my plugin, my client one. Okay. That's going to open up. I'm going to make sure I have nothing open on it. And then I'm just, so I'm going to close those down and then I'm just going to shrink it. Now I'm going to open my second rhythmic and here is where you're able to do this. Okay. On my second rhythmic, okay, I'm going to plug in my username and password. And on gateway, I'm going to choose our trader pro on this machine. Okay. You don't have to worry about it on the first one, but on the data you do. So the first one is use whatever's closest to you, but on the data gateway, choose our trader pro on this machine. Do not click plugins. It won't let you do it because we did that. We already have our client open. That's really clean. Remember right here. We already got this one open. All right, so we're going to click log in, and now, oh, now it can give you a error message because they had this thing where they're trying to check and make sure people aren't trying to log in twice. If you get that, don't worry about it. Just replug in your stuff and connect. And then it should connect. Now, if you have an issue, if it's not working, just close all your rhythmics down, open your plugin one again, and you know, close all the little windows on it, and then open your other one. So this is going to be like your monitor one or your tools one, where if you want to use order book or whatever, the big thing is you're going to, of course, monitor Apex Trader dashboard to look at your account balance versus your trailing threshold to make sure that balance doesn't go lower than that trailing threshold. Okay? So... That's how we're going to set up Rhythmic. We're going to set up a client-side plug-in mode with nothing on it so it runs super fast. And then we're going to set up a, another one where it says connect on this machine. And we can, you can open whatever you want to on that one. Okay? Now over here on connections, we're going to go to your Rhythmic for Ninja Trader brokerage connection. And don't connect, okay? Go to connections, go to configure, because you should already have this set up if you're watching this video. Go down to my rhythm for Ninja Trader brokerage, and I want you to check the plugin mode for market data, okay? The plugin mode for market data, Rhythmic Paper Trading Chicago, okay? Click OK on that, and then we'll connect. And we are connected. Okay. So that's how you do that. Now, if you get kicked out or something, just log back in to the plug-in mode. And then log in to the to Ninja again. Okay. Just make sure that plug-in mode is connected. If you don't see orange here, that means you need to log back in with plug-in mode on our trader.
okay? Again, this will allow it to run faster. We've tested it with direct connection versus plug-in. Plug-in is now faster. It also allows more logging in R-Trader, so that way if there is an issue, Rhythmic is able to help us identify what the issue was, okay? So like somebody's trading on an i3 computer in really far market conditions and their computer couldn't keep up, we'll be able to see that, okay? So um, hopefully that will help you. Hopefully that made sense. And uh, But again, just set up that plug-in mode, change your stuff around that way. And you should have faster connections, less delays, less errors, and a greater ability for us to solve problems when they pop up. All right. Thank you very much.